Welcome back to Building with Bubba. Today, I'm going to record uh, building a uh, rocking chair. I was going to do it one, one of my first things to build, but I didn't need to build one at the time. I got a few people that want me to build some. Uh, so I can record it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Remember, I have patterns for it. The seats are 11 and 3 quarters. And this is my chair pattern. I'm gonna cut the uh, stuff I need for it. I'm gonna bring you right on over here. You see, I've already got them traced out on the wood. I just have to cut them out. I'm recording, cutting them out, and that stuff, and then I'm gonna uh, put it together for you. Show you how to do it. I just want to explain that this is a bit of chair, a little rocking chair. I'm going to cut the material list for you right quick. And thank you. Now, guys, I got the. Uh, backs and stuff ready my two patterns this is the back this is the seat I'm gonna uh, trace these out on these boards right here as you can see these are my pattern boards okay I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna draw it like that put X on that side it means that side I cut I'm gonna do the other one Line them up. Then you just want to draw across. This is for your back. This is a little handle. And then you're going to, you're going to cut this out. So you're going to drill two there. Wherever the aces are is what you're going to cut out. Then you're going to take the drill and you go right here to the handle and you want to drill a hole through it so you can get your uh, jigsaw blade so you can cut that handle out. Like so. Then them two is ready to go to cut out with a jigsaw.
Okay, back guys. Now I'm gonna uh, put the holes in for the Craig. Holes in so you uh, hook up the back and for the seat. Let me show you how to do that. guys like I told you one time before on the other video take your little pattern so these two right here just to line up your seat that's your seat get it go right there this is your back let it go right here and then line it up all you gotta do is trace it out on the board so take it through just like this right here that way you'll get it lined up then all you gotta do is trace it onto your wood. Saves you a lot of time and a lot of measuring trying to get everything lined up. Then once you got that, you can take the pattern off. You see, this is your seat. I put four holes in it for a small child that should hold 20 to 30 pounds at the most. Don't go too much further than more weight than that. So what you want to do is put some glue, use your uh, intercooler tray screws, I'm going to lay some out right here, put some, some glue on it, and what you want to do is you want to put them right on that mark traced out. Barely put that in. Put that one on the mark. One on this side. Make sure you got it on the mark. Hold it tight. And go back and tighten that one. Then you put your other two in. I always want to let this glue dry day or so. You want to wipe off the excess glue. Stain it. Stain does not like glue. So you grab your little piece of rag. Wipe all that off. Damn. Better to take a little bit of water. Wet your rag, get it off. Wipe down both sides, get the glue off, and it should be good. And then you want to do the little seat. You do the same thing. You can go ahead and put the screws in if you want to, that's what I usually do. Like that, and then pick some glue. You just keep on with it until you get all of them put together. 
So it's good to have patterns. I don't tighten them all the way down to a get one on each side. Then I come back and snug it back down. And that's it for that one. I'm going to uh, take your pattern and do the same thing on the other one. I'll show you the end result when um, I get this on. Thank you. Okay, I finished the rocking chair, went ahead and put the other side on. See, it rocks pretty good. Now you let it sit up for a day or so and dry. So, while well, I got you on here, if these little plugs, take them, put them right in the back. Holes, you put a little bit of glue in them and push them in. Then you sand them down smooth. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna put them in and uh, I'll let them sit there a few minutes and then I'll uh, sand them down so you can see what one of them looks like. It's so you can't see the holes in the back. All right, guys, see, you put a little bit of glue in it. And then you will take one of these plugs and you put it in it. Let it sit there and dry for a minute, wipe the excess glue off. Then you'll take your sander, sand it down. <laughs> Nice and smooth where you can't even hardly see it. I'll show you up close. See it right there? You just keep sanding it until it's smooth. You do all the holes like that. And you always use paint gradable plugs. Come from Craig Tool. Alright, y'all. It's built. Thank you for watching Building with Bubble. Subscribe. Hit the like button on this video. If you want to check about our membership, look me up on Facebook, Build with Bubba. And we thank you again. God bless you.